So you're a new user of one of the RetroTech uh, duct testers and you'd like to unpack it and get it going. So this video is all about how to set it up. First thing you'll notice in this pocket back here is a shoulder strap which you can option to use or not. I like to uh, close the zippers so both of them are right in the middle so I can always find them. So open up the case and let's take a look inside. The first thing that we notice is this case here which contains the gauge. So let's take a look inside and see what's in here. Again, we've got the zippers in the metal. Let's open it up. And we see, oh, user guides. Okay. This is placed right in the uh, main pocket here, so you can access it right away. So there's a number of different documents in here, but the important one that you want to find is the quick guide. That will lead you through every step that you need to take to complete a test. So let's take a look at the quick guide. We've already talked about a photograph of the setup, the graphic, and the schematic. And as I mentioned before, for some of you, that's plenty. Everything is color-coded and you can just go ahead and give it a shot. However, you'll find that going through the guide step by step will solve a lot of problems that you're going to have in the future. So let's just take a look at uh, what's in this case. So here we have a battery charger and a set of batteries. So one of the first things you'll have to do is to remove the gauge, open up the compartment on the back and place the batteries in there and charge them up for 12 to 18 hours. Let's assume that that's already been done. So if that's the case, we can keep the gauge inside this case all the time and keep these connections connected and use this strain relief here to take the strain off these cords. But let's just take a look at how we've set this up. You'll notice that in this umbilical cord here that there are three equal length tubes, blue, yellow, and green and they're connected to the blue, yellow, and green connector. So if yours is not already connected, you can connect that. The other one that you're going to have in there is the, uh, it's an Ethernet cable actually, or an Ethernet style cable that you may be familiar with in your network, and that's the communication cable that communicates between the gauge and the fan itself. So all of those uh, stay connected all the time. If we want to charge up, the gauge, we simply put the battery charger in here, which is it's the only one that it fits in, so it makes it easy. The other one that's remaining is the mini USB that's used for a computer hookup, which uh, you probably won't use, and there's a red port which is left open. So we'll slide this back in, assuming that it's already been charged up, and we'll connect the umbilical to this little piece of Velcro down here which you may not be able to see and we wrap it around tightly and it holds that in place right in the corner like that. And then the rest of the umbilical which is about 20 feet long can be unwound and this would connect to the fan and this would connect to your duct system usually inside the closest supply register to the main plenum. I'll go through the various other connectors that you have in your kit as well. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, here we go. So this is the mini USB cable, which we can leave in here. And inside this case, there's a whole lot of little connectors and so on. Let's just take a look at what's in here. So we've got two male-to-male -male connectors. We have two T's. And we have two other little accessories. This is a static pressure probe, which is designed blue goes to blue to hook up to the blue tube. Uh, this is a particularly good um, 
uh, pressure pickup to use whenever there's velocity. So when wind blows on the end of this tube or air through the air handler blows on this tube, it won't cause the pressure to fluctuate. There's four little pickup tubes in there that average the pressure out. So that's what we would use if we were hooking up to the supply plenum. The other one that's in here is a uh, thin metal tube that can be attached to any one of the tubes and it's ideal for poking through a doorway, sometimes through a window, into a place that is hard to access with a big fat tube. So that comes in handy. And there's another small connector here which we will talk about later in one of the more complex procedures. So what else do we have in the case here? Well, we have a uh, power cord. 25 footer, heavy duty. We have a big, huge bundle of spare tubing. Uh, there's a bundle of uh, all four colors, and you may or may not have application for it. For duct testing, the blue one in particular is particularly useful if you want to make an extension from your duct tester to a supply that's far away. So that would come in handy. But it's good to have a good selection of tubes. You never know when you might need them. And. We open this up, we find a roll of grill mask in here. Complimentary roll. We'll just set this off to the side for the time being. And the way I normally pull this out of the case is I just reach through the flex duct and I can grab a hold of the screen with my hand and then gently lift up and then the entire duct tester comes out. So I got the whole thing in my hand. I can actually hold on to it like that if I want to. So I can set it down. The flex duct, which is quite long, of course, becomes very compact and is attached to the back end of the duct tester so it's all set up for pressurization. If you want to do a depressurization test, you simply take the flex duct off this side with this strap and turn it around. I'll show you how the strap works. So we've got two pieces. We've got the stationary piece and the piece that goes through the D-ring here. When we pull on this, it would rotate around in circles, so we've got this one, so we can pull both ways to stop it from sliding. So we just pull both ways, push down the Velcro, and we've got a nice tight seal there. If we want to take this off, we just lift up, and off the flex dock comes, that simply. If you want to put it on the other side, you simply turn it around, and then push it over the front of the duct tester, Tighten up the strap, and you're ready to go. If we want to do a depressurization test with this equipment, we don't have to make any other changes whatsoever. There's no flow conditioners that we need to use. We just put the flex duct on the other side, and it's all set up and ready to go.